FIFA 20 gameplay is very different to what we have experienced last year. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how to actually make that transition to the FIFA 20 gameplay. Of course, there's lots of different things that are different. And of course, you, that your team might not be the problem because maybe you've bought a new team, looks really good, fantastic, but you just keep losing games. And of course, you're in a really low division, loads of stuff like this. So in this video, I will be helping you with all of that. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one and also trading and investing how to make coins and when the market is going to go up when the market is going to go down lots of different videos and also some investments again how to make coins so getting straight into the video now as we can see here there are many lots of different things that you can actually go for but the team is very important just before we do actually get into some real gameplay tips so for the team, I think a huge problem that many of us might, of course, be experiencing, especially right at the start, when we don't have too many coins, it's that we go for very pacey players, but we do actually forget shooting. So, for example, of course, you might have an extremely pacey team, really pacey, of course, striker, right wing, left wing, up front. But the shooting, of course, we might be struggling with that. It might be actually finding it hard to actually score the goals, because I've seen so many times that there's been, of course, like 10, 15 shots, and a lot of them have been on target as well but the opponent just actually gets that one shot gets that one goal and of course that is the end of the game and of course it's really hard and difficult of course to see that because you feel like you've been playing very good the whole game but the main reason for that is because you most of the time maybe your team is just too fast and there isn't of course shooting because most of these kind of like cheaper rated players cheaper budget players that we are currently have to play with they of course we cannot have the high pace and the high shooting so we do have to have kind of like cut back a bit on the pace and we do need to find that perfect balance so for example Lacazette I've also found Pookie of course he is at around 20,000 coins and also in the midfield you do not just want to go for absolutely fast plays you do need to keep in mind good passing good physical that is extremely important as well and also of course when you are actually playing as well a main thing that I have seen is actually loads of people shooting outside the box and trying like really long long shots finesse shots from really far away that is not good you definitely need to be a lot more patient when you are attacking and I'm going to be going into some gameplay examples right now. So a huge thing that I have noticed when playing the gameplay, you do need to be quite patient and also some fast pacing is very useful. As you can see here, most of the time, the player, of course, the defender controlling it, he will actually, of course, like run at you. And of course, you kind of need to take it slow, pass around a little and eventually you will get a very nice run. Just like I kind of I got here, but it was a bit lucky, of course, with the goal. But as you can see here, I did actually concede a goal. I did mess it up. That was a bit of a bar bad pass. You do need to be careful I use in my opinion I use too many through balls especially from the defense trying to get up to the attack so as you can see very lucky rebound there but it doesn't really matter even if you can see the frustrating goal like that maybe even right after you have scored it's very important to actually keep your head up and make sure that you keep creating chances to actually convert into goals so another thing is actually going to be to be very clinical or as clinical as possible with your set pieces you might see free kicks this was for example a very good opportunity there I almost scored actually from the kind of like free kick pass there I do usually go for that it's what it's the style I like to go for but also corners try and maybe if, if of course if you can take it the normal corner cross it in try that but corners are very important I feel we get a lot of corners and we need to make the most out of them so as you can see here as well you do you can kind of like go run on the wings just because you're playing it patient it doesn't really mean that you cannot run with your players as you can see what I like to go for is actually R1 and pass so that is like a driven pass and that's actually very nice I really like that I do get a nice finesse shot there as well so these are the type of positions you do want to be getting yourself into and as you can see here with the defending I do actually use the goalkeeper very well there it is always good actually to use your goalkeeper and then get to the counter attack I feel bringing out the goalkeeper like that very fast is actually very useful in this game and there once again don't drag out the players I actually use L2 a lot it does kind of like slow down the player and you can see I use it here especially to intercept the passes that is what I'm doing a lot and I think quite a lot of you guys might be of course dragging out your players just like this guy just did there and it does create an open run for me of course to make the most of there it was very unlucky from me that is pretty much a prime example of what you are trying to aim for and then once again he does give me the space there if I didn't try and time that that probably should have been a goal but just another huge tip is taking advantage of their mistakes as you can see here I did kind of read that I saw the goalkeeper was trying to go up to the top and I do manage to get that maybe potentially of course lucky 
unlucky goal, but I did have to put myself in that position. So in my opinion, it was still kind of like well deserved. But you definitely need to try and apply these tips, of course. Maybe watch this video again. It was, I did go quite quickly. I don't really want to make it too long. But you pretty much do need to remember, don't pace is not always the thing. You do need to, of course, think about the other things. Also the midfield, you do need good physical, you need good passing. You do need to kind of like balance out your squad. Don't purely just try and go for pace and make sure that you do actually invest in your strikers. Don't just go for, I keep repeating it, but a pacey striker. It might seem good. You might create the opportunity, but of course, converting the opportunity is actually a whole nother thing. Well, just a few last things, of course, midfield and defending, just summarizing this video up. Make sure that you don't drag your players up. And I like to use L2 on PS4 to actually kind of like slow down the player. I'm not too sure what it does, but it is kind of like to slow down the player. It's very good to use when you're trying to intercept a pass. I use it quite a lot when defending and definitely do not drag out your defenders. I see it way too much. People just running right at you. I do know quite a lot of pros do do it, but it is actually done in a specific way. And most of the time when we try to do it, we just run past the player. And also that can also be used when you are attacking. You can just kind of like slow it down. Don't always accelerate at full speed. You can just slow it down, just dribble past very slowly. You don't even need to know skill moves and you will be surprised how good it does actually work. If you guys do have any other questions or some points to make as well, definitely comment down below. And you can also DM me on Twitter or Instagram for some additional help. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.